Hey guys, so if you're wondering if you can fly your drone in cold weather and snow, you absolutely can. You just have to keep in mind a few common sense little items. Like first of all, if you look at the DJI Mini 3 Pro, it's gray pretty darn close to white. So if it comes down in snow, guess what? Your chances of finding it are slim and none. Cold weather erodes the battery life. 70% is when, or 70 degrees Fahrenheit is when you're gonna get your best battery life. And so today it's about two degrees plus up here in Canada. And it's a, it's a really nice day out here. The sun's been out off and on, uh, very little wind. I'm out here with a very light coat, don't need earmuffs on or anything like that. But still, you have to take into consideration that drones, their batteries don't like the moisture and they don't like the cold. The cold is gonna run your battery life down and the moisture is like the worst possible thing. So you don't wanna be setting your drone down in the snow and you don't wanna be flying it in when it's snowing out and it's any kind of a wet uh, situation. So those are the three basic things that you wanna avoid. The next thing I would recommend is a very inexpensive item and that's a landing pad like this one. Spend 10 or 20 bucks, you can get this nice vinyl landing pad that you can use. You'll be able to spot the orange side 10 miles away and you won't be landing your drone into wet snow because any, any moisture that gets into those electric motors, guess what? You know, you're gonna kill your drone. So the answer is yes, you can fly in the winter time. You just gotta be mindful of a few things. So let's get to it. Okay, so we've got the home point acquired. We're all set to go. We can put our drone up. And I'm gonna climb to my usual 50 meters. There we go. I'm gonna make my usual screen adjustment. And You can definitely get some really beautiful uh, drone footage during the winter time. You just have to be careful, use a little bit of common sense. And right away I'm noticing that my flight time is down to 16 minutes. And that's because I noticed that my batteries were at three dots instead of four. So I'm not gonna be doing anything heroic today. Just kind of a, you know, just a nice day. I thought I'd put the drone up and have a look about. Yes, that's a small Cessna you just heard flying by. There's the river. Wow, look at how dark the sky is off in the distance. And there's the old river close to where I live. And we'll just bring her back around here.
So here's what I mean about using a landing pad. I can already see uh, the landing pad there on the deck. And I can hear the drone. Let's have a look up. We'll see if I can see it. I can't see it. So I'm going to hit the return to home. So there's the crosshair. Yeah, it looks like it's going to bring it down into a tree though, so I'm going to have to be careful on this one. So I'm just going to tap the return to home. Now I can see the drone overhead. We'll bring it down. I'm going to turn the drone so it's facing me. <laughs> so there you go pretty darn close to where we took off from and another successful flight okay guys so i thought i'd leave you with a couple of pro tips for flying and surviving in the cold weather being from the north and the first thing is you've got to look after yourself so you see i've got a merino uh, wool wicking inner layer i've got a fleece lined not a hoodie, but uh, same as a hoodie without the hood. And then I had a black winter jacket on there yesterday. Uh, yesterday we had two degrees above. Nice sunshine, no wind. It was beautiful out there. Perfect weather for flying the drone. Today it's minus 10, dark and gloomy. I don't even want to go outside today. It's so cold. But you've got to look after yourself. And to do that, I've always depended on Sportiva, La Sportiva shoes. I've got uh, La Sportiva hiking shoes. These are hiking boots. This is what I wear in the wintertime. They're waterproof. And these things, the reason I like them is that they have... Um, it's kind of like a liner so that if you're hiking, it protects your feet from the rocks. You can barely, if you're hiking uh, through the bush or whatever, these things, they really insulate your feet really well. And they've got a fantastic grip, and that's why I use them. Now, for your hands, I don't know if you guys may have heard of Valorette gloves. Um, I've had these things for four or five years. These are the latest versions. I'll put links in the description for you to all this stuff. But they've got little magnets in them so you can fold, your, fold them back and get at your camera or you know use the controls on your drone or your controller and they've got a silicone uh, texture on the bottom of the glove they look good they've got another little pocket here that has a little bit of lining so if you wanted to tr uh, tuck in a filter there for your drone you could do that great pair of gloves yesterday you saw me wearing a hat this is something, uh, these kind of earmuffs, you know, in the north in the wintertime, I don't like getting earaches. So these things, you can just open them up, put them over your ears like so. You don't need to wear a toque if you don't want to. The other thing I mentioned yesterday was a landing pad. And for under 20 bucks, you know, you saw it for yourself. You can spot this thing a mile away. And the other thing I'd recommend, and that is something I've been using for... I would say for maybe three months after I got my drone, and that's a lanyard. And I started out with a real cheap $9 lanyard. Um, it connected through two eye bolts here, but I found that one was problematic 
uh, putting this thing back into the case that came with the fly more kit. This one here actually has a little connector so you can separate the two. So it's, it's just a, a great set of tools that you should have for your winter time flying. That's my pro tip for this one. I uh, hope you found the video useful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.